May I present to you for induction into the National Football League Hall of Fame, class of 88, Mike Ditka. Thank you. Thank you very much. My good friend, Ed Obradovich, was very generous with his words. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I do stand beside you or in front of you today in, with a great sense of pride, but a tremendous amount of humility. I didn't know how hard this would be, but when I walked in to this hall today and I saw these men behind us, who were the forerunners to us coming into the hall this year, when I realized what Jack Ham and Fred Blittenkopf my good friend Alan Page, who have accomplished in football, I'm tremendously proud because it's a great honor, but I'm very humbled by it all because I'm not sure I truly understand it. I appreciate you for your support. I want to thank some people, and I hope you would bear with me for just a few moments. I think the most important people that have to be thanked in this situation, it's everybody, but it first starts with my mom and dad, Charlotte and Mike Ditka, my family, who have stuck by me, who have given me support, who have given me guidance, who have given me encouragement over the years, and I really appreciate that. I want to thank all my friends from Aliquip and from Carnegie and from Pennsylvania who are here, and from Chicago. I appreciate it. I think the first thing, I, I probably made a mistake, I should have thanked God because I've been fortunate, gang. He, th he made me sound of mind and body. And he's given me an opportunity to participate in the greatest game in the world for 27 years. And uh, that's pretty significant when you stop and think about it. And without him, it wouldn't have happened in the first place. I want to thank my teammates because they put up with a lot of crap from me. But they, uh, they supported me most of the time. And I want to thank my opposition. I don't think they ever understood me really, but they really played hard against me. And uh, they really never asked any quarter and gave any quarter. And I think that's important. I had so many great coaches. My high school coach, Carl Ashman, was a, started everything. I had so many people who worked with me back then. Uh, I went to Pitt. I got to know Coach Paterno pretty well, but I, I got to know a coach named Jack Wiley and Ernie Hefferly and John Michael Lawson. Then I went and saw Mr. Hallis in Chicago and spent six years with him before I got to get to know a guy named Joe Kuharik in Philadelphia for two years and finally ended up with the great Tom Landry in Dallas for four years. Now, if you think you're not blessed, when you have people affect your life like that, I think you're sorely mistaken. And I guess I tested them all, but it, it worked out pretty good. I want to thank the organizations, especially the Chicago Bears, the Philadelphia Eagles, and the Dallas Cowboys for making my 27 years in football something special. I want to thank the National Football League for what it stands for, for the men who played the game, and for what it really is. It's a tremendous thing, gang. I, I don't know any other way to put it, but you know, Fred told you he loves the game, and they, you got to love it. It's, it's just the greatest thing. It's the greatest feeling. Not being up here is the greatest feeling. Great. Being able to play every day, to practice every day, to be a part of it. To say that you played against Ray Nitschke, or you played against Doug Atkins, or you knew Miriam Motley. Any of this is what it's all about. I'm going to leave you with a couple of statements that I think sum it all up. In life, many men have talent. But talent in itself is no accomplishment. Excellence in football and excellence in life is bred when men recognize their opportunities and then pursue them with a passion. And I think that sums up what the players of the National Football League, the National Football League Hall of Fame stand for. They recognized an opportunity and they went after it. I have a lot of heroes in life and one of my heroes is a man named Abraham Lincoln. And Lincoln had a little statement that he made about himself that I kind of think it applies to me, and I've tried to live by it. I don't always make it, but I try. And he made a simple statement that says this. He said, I did the best I could. He said, I did the best I knew how. He said, I mean to keep on doing it that way right up to the very end. He said, if the end brings me out all right, he said, what's said against me will not matter. He said, but if the end brings me out all wrong, he said, 10 angels swearing I was right would make no difference. Again, thank you, and God bless you.